Well today uh, we have announced that uh, we are taking our first steps to end the blight that is emergency housing. Around 3,000 New Zealand families are currently living in motels, cost the New Zealand government $340 million roughly per year. That's a million dollars per day that we're paying for families to live largely in misery and squalor. Uh, and we're determined to fix the problem we've inherited from the last government. Uh, so we've announced as an initial first step, uh, we're creating a priority one category, which means that uh, families with children who have been in emergency housing for 12 weeks or longer uh, will go to the front of the queue for the social housing waitlist, which means we can get them into secure uh, housing faster. Uh, that's the first step. There are wider changes needed to the system uh, and uh, we have commissioned a series of work around that. Uh, I think it's fa fairly clear to say that bold and radical steps are needed to fix emergency housing uh, in New Zealand. Uh, Minister Potaka, um, who's my Associate Minister of Housing, is going to be leading on this work alongside Louise Upston as Minister of uh, Social Development and we're looking at the whole system. So we are looking at uh, innovative solutions like social bonds, uh, for example, working with private landlords, uh, how we need to fix the system uh, to uh, end emergency housing, or at least to reduce it to the, to the level where a few people spend a, sm a small amount of time uh, in motels. Emergency housing started as a system where a few people spent a short amount of time, essentially a roof over someone's head. What it's turned into uh, is a institutionalised bureaucracy where now around 3,000 families live in those motels. We're determined to fix that problem. The social cost and the economic cost to the country is enormous. Aren't you, aren't, you, aren't, you just shuffling people, aren't you just shuffling people around because those houses aren't yet ready, so you're just moving them to the front of the queue? How long is it going to take to actually get them into houses, those people who have been in emergency housing for longer than 12 weeks? Our view is that if you've been in emergency housing for 12 weeks or longer and you've got kids, it should be an absolute priority of the government to get you out of that motel into secure housing. Uh, and so we just think it's the right thing to do. As I say, it is not the silver bullet uh, to, to this problem. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.